Hello and welcome back to Deep Rock Galactic Survivor and our little cozy let's play that we've got going on here. So in, in, in you know, classic fashion for me on my channel, I usually do tend to go off screen sometimes to do some progression to kind of speed things along so you don't have to see any of the annoying grinding and stuff like that. And so in that wonderful, wonderful tradition that we have, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of farming. Unfortunately, I don't have a huge amount of resources in certain areas, as you can see, because these are mostly found in other areas, I think. I wasn't able to find many of those. However, as you can see, we actually have a huge amount of these things, so I can increase my damage and my reload speed. We can even get some mining speed increases, which I'm going to go for right now. We can get some armor. I think I'm going to get some armor right now and we'll get some more experience. We're actually going to get a lot of experience gain. I think that's going to be really, really important for us. And as you can see, we're also going to be getting so much more expensive as we increase it. 15 of these. That's actually pretty incredible. Um, yeah, but otherwise, obviously, I have a, a pretty large amount of credits right now, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And we're going to be going for life regeneration, I think. Life regeneration is super, super important. And that's all I can actually do, apart from this, obviously. So I think what is most important for me right now is probably reload speed. So I'm going to be taking reload speed basically across the board here. Unfortunately, I don't have enough credits to do anything more about the reload speed, so we'll just do damage for the last little point. And there you have it. So we've got some pretty nice upgrades there. And now let me show you what I've actually been doing. Nothing amazing, okay? Nothing amazing. I've just been going into crystalline caverns and basically just doing that. I've just, I, I did do, as you can see, I did hazard one and I completed the dive really, really easily. I tried hazard two and I tried to complete it, but for some reason I always get myself killed. And this is because I'm playing the driller. I'm playing the driller and while it is an extremely fun class I get myself into really tight situations that makes it so that I take chances that I shouldn't take because I'm trying to I'm trying to gather as many resources as I can get my hands on and that's the reason why I take damage unnecessarily. So if I was trying to complete the dive I would have already completed it but obviously I haven't done that so there's that. Uh, anyway, Hazard 3 I've not actually tried yet. I haven't tried Hazard 2 in the Magma Caves either. I think we're probably going to do this one because this one seems like we can actually do it. You know, LMG gun platform to level 18. That sounds super fun. And also collecting 100 nitro, 150 nitro that is. And then after that, we're probably going to play with the Driller again. I personally love the Driller. I actually just unlocked its, um, its second class mod. And so I'd really like to try that out. But for this one, we're obviously going to have to pick the uh, driller, uh, not the driller, the engineer for the LMG gun platform and being able to level that up as fast as possible. All right, so we've obviously got flowers to pick up in this one, which I personally like a great deal. I think the flowers are some of the best, um, the best side objective that you can get because you only need to pick up six of these suckers. So it's really not that bad. Reload speed is absolutely amazing for this. These are explosive, so we've got to be a bit careful. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a nice chain reaction that we had there. That's great. Anyway, we can just go through here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> after playing the driller for a solid few hours, it does seem very slow now. Let me say that. Yes, it does seem very, very slow in comparison. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Um, unfortunately, I'm getting absolutely murdered here as well. Okay, more reload speed for that. I need to get this gold, please. There we go. All right, yeah, my, my turrets are actually doing relatively well already. Oh, look at that. I can literally... <laughs> yes, I will be going for that. Ooh, fires electrical bullets. Yes, okay, that sounds fun. Not plasma, unfortunately, but electrical is just as good. Oh, yeah, by the way... I have been playing, as I said, I have been playing as the um, as the driller, and you can actually change his main weapon, you know, the thing that fires behind him. Obviously, if you've seen my previous episodes, you'll know about the driller, and you, you will have seen him already, but if you haven't, then, well, don't worry, because we're going to be playing as him again sometime soon. Anyway, the point is, when you actually use 
that main weapon and you have the ability to um, actually uh, upgrade it and get a, an overclock on that thing, it transformed into an acid damaging ability is so amazing. It does massive, massive damage as acid. Not so good if you transform it into fire, in my opinion, because fire is a little bit more, I think, a little bit more focused on damage over time. Whereas acid seems to do more damage up front. And I really wasn't having any issues whatsoever when I had it as acid, but when I had it as fire, it was quite a bit more difficult to kill enemies efficiently. But that's obviously maybe just me. I don't know. Maybe maybe the fire was just, just me thinking, you know, maybe that was the case or not. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to continue leveling up my um, my turrets here because, of course, I am, you know. <laughs> I love the turrets. I think that they are absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. By the way, the manipulation of explosive bugs is still absolutely 100% the way to go. It is literally the go-to strategy for me now and um, actually not even maybe th that much when I'm playing the driller because when I'm playing the driller if you actually go for an elemental based build and I'm talking about a build that focuses on um, acid damage and fire damage and doing damage over time you will literally not even need to manipulate the explosive bugs because the amount of damage and penetrative damage that you can do is absolutely incredible. It is absolutely amazing. It will do so much damage for you. It really will. Anyway, no, another 70 HP right there. Okay, that's really nice. And we're actually almost done here as well. I did the side objective already as far as I can see. So we can actually just leave right away. I'm just going to try and pick up as much experience as I can on the way out. I am pretty safe in the knowledge that I can probably make it out of here without actually running out of time. Uh, but one thing that I really do need to do more often, obviously you can see here I actually gained a huge amount of gold, but I didn't gain any nitro whatsoever. And I am going to need to do that much more often. It's a really big problem for me personally that I just don't... I just don't do that. I just don't do that for some reason. I don't know why, but there you go. I don't do it. So that is a, a big problem. And I am going to have to do something to uh, rectify that because otherwise I'm going to literally have problems almost the entire time. And, uh, you know, because you saw all those upgrades that I had to forego, but just purely for the fact I didn't have any, uh, any nitro. It's really bad, you know? It's really bad. Anyway. Um, I'm going to go for an electrical based build here because we already have increased critical chance 24% I think on electrical damage. So electrical is definitely going to be the thing that we're going to be prioritizing here. I don't like any of this. I'm going to re-roll this. There we go. This is what I like to see. Thank you very much. Now we can get a second overcharge. Turrets mine nearby walls. No, I don't want that. Uh, what about the extra charges? I guess I could kind of go for that. I mean, mining nearby walls is actually okay, but it's uncontrolled. Shall we try it out? Okay, we'll try it out and we'll see what happens. Maybe it's good. I don't know. I highly doubt it, to be honest. I really, really highly doubt it, but who knows? Maybe it's actually going to be useful. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. All things considered, probably not. Anyway, um, yeah, now we're going to have some issues. I, I haven't picked up any flowers yet, which is actually a big problem. I haven't seen any, I don't think. Have I? Have I seen any and I've just not, not picked them up? Or I, I don't think so somehow. Anyway, I'm just going to stay here for a little bit because this seems like a relatively safe area for me to kill this elite. Get the nice experience, nice juicy experience right there. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, now, oh, there's a flower. Okay, so at least we've got one. Uh, yeah. Oh well. Right. Can we... There we go. Yeah, we're just going to have to be careful not to get exploded on. My turrets are doing a relatively good job, but they don't have as... A, they don't have as much penetration as they used to, as Plasma, I think. I think Plasma does tend to give you a little bit more penetration per shot. 
That could be the case, or maybe it's not. I don't know. But we're going to go for more reload speed here, even though I, I, I personally would like to go for the paint job, just because it gives me so many more levels. Well, 100% more levels, basically. And uh, now I'm taking unnecessary damage here, because I am trying to get the Nitra, of course. Yes, see, this is exactly the reason why I die in my other runs. Just literally because I do that. Okay, we're going to have to do a little bit of sneaky, sneaky action here and get around them. There we go. All right, here we are. Here we are. Okay, we're going to be going for the Krakatoa Sentinel here, even though... I, well, should I? Because I want electrical damage as much as possible, don't I? But the thing is, I have overclocks unlocked for the Krakatoa Sentinel. And I don't have over overclocks unlocked for the Voltaic SMG. Uh, no, I'm going to go for the Krakatoa, okay? I'm going to go for the Krakatoa, just purely for the fact that it is indeed another turret. And it is amazing. It will literally do really, really good damage. Just watch. Look. Well, um, well, there's that. <laughs> there is indeed that. Yes, that was pretty crazy. Okay, we're just going to go continuing to level up our um, sentry gun, because we need to, obviously. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going to need to go for, I guess, this. I need some red sugar. I'm not entirely sure why it's so difficult for me to find red sugar all of a sudden. Uh, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, that is pretty bad. Okay, let me just mine this real fast. Okay, I'm going to have to run and try to find some red sugar. I'm not seeing any, which makes me very worried. Oh dear, there's a lot of experience that I'm leaving on the floor here as well. I'm getting greedy. Mm-hmm, yeah, you know how it is. You know how it is. This is real bad. Well, maybe it's not so bad. I don't know. Maybe it's not so bad. Oh, there's a supply drop here. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm an imbecile. All right, well, that's fine. It's fine. Hopefully my forces will actually do something here. There we go. All right. Oh, what is this? Increase your damage by 2% and decrease your movement speed. Are you joking? Wow, that's actually... For every nitro you have, so if so theoretically, I would have 38% increased damage. Am I correct in thinking that right now? If I have 19 nitro, and then decrease my movement speed by 0 0.5, so that means that's half. So I would have what? Um, what? 8%? 8% decreased movement speed? That's actually pretty significant. So I'm going to go for the red sugar, unfortunately, even though I don't. I don't know, I think that that's actually a really cool artifact. It's something I unlocked on one of my um, most recent runs. But, um, yeah, that's... Uh, it's. I think it's too... Mm, I don't know, I would love to have gone for it, but it's just not something that I can really deal with right now. I need the movement speed, I think. Okay, we're going to have to mine through the wall here. And hopefully I'm going to make it back. Five seconds. There we go. Okay, I missed so much experience. Oh, I'm kicking myself for losing all of that experience, but it's okay. It's fine. It is fine. It is absolutely fine. Okay, so let's just have a quick look here. So basically what we could do is we could get this, and then we can get, well, one of these. Unfortunately, only one of these. Let's go for more critical chance for that. And then that's all I can do. I can't even heal myself. I probably should have healed myself. That would have made much more sense. Ah, there we go. We've got some red sugar at least coming this way. Okay, yeah, my turrets are actually mining walls, as you can see. It doesn't do much. <laughs> it, do it does not do much at all. I think that that is an absolutely awful overclock ability, and I should not have taken it, but... Well... I did it now, you know, I've done it. So there isn't really much for me to do. I'm just going to loot this. I'm taking damage from the lava as well in the process. So that's not very nice, but it's fine. We're getting the we're getting the HP and that's all that matters. Okay, there we go. Okay, can we get some more flowers? That would be my main goal at the moment. Got some more gold over there. Uh, yeah, th th this is this is not good. This particular overclock is absolutely terrible. I gotta say, I was I was a bit skeptical about it to be honest, but now I am 100% certain it is not very useful, unfortunately. 
I mean, maybe it's going to be more useful later down the line. I don't know, but I highly doubt it. Um, maybe if I can get my turrets to follow me or something like that, maybe that would make a difference, but I don't think so somehow. Anyway, we're going to go for probably this, because that's going to give me an overclock. Oh, extra drones. Yes, thank you. I will definitely take extra drones. That is amazing. We got some more gold here as well. Okay. Oh, there's a supply drone. Okay. Yeah, there's just so much stuff to do here. All right. Well, we're going to do this then, I guess. Hopefully. Oh, no. Don't, no. don't get killed. Don't get killed by that elite. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Explosives. Explosives. Thank you. Oh, I'm dead, I think. Am I? Oh, wow. This could be bad for me. Oh, I'm sneaky. Oh, I'm so sneaky. I am so sneaky. Wow, I cannot believe that I actually survived that, to be honest. Okay, that was absolutely insane. Going to go for reload speed with this thing. Let's just pick up all this wonderful experience really, really quickly. And then reload speed for that thing. And just pick up this, whatever this is. Okay, what's this? Explode in a ring of fire, dealing damage and burning nearby enemies when you take damage. Okay. I'm going to go for dodge chance. Because I need more survivability as much as I can handle. I really need more. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is... I'm done, I think. I don't, I don't think I can actually do this. Oh, no. I'm so close as well to actually getting level uh, level 18 on my sentry gun. Oh, no. Yeah, this is bad. Bad news bears. Bad news bears. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we can do something here. Oh, no, no. I'm taking way too much damage. I can literally not take any more damage. Otherwise, we're done. Uh, okay, um, I'm wondering whether I should, no, I should really re-roll, but I'm not going to. Okay, here we go. Get around here, pick up all this. Oh, nice experience. Okay, we got, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, fine, fine, fine. Voltaic shock fence. I don't have any of the overclocks for this, but we're going to take it nevertheless. Okay, critical chance. Yeah, I guess I'll go for critical chance. We've got a lot of critical chance. That's what I can say. Okay, where are we go? There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Maybe we can actually get something going. Oh, nice. Turrets explode. Oh, turrets follow you around. Yes. Thank you. Okay, here we go. All right, so they want me to go back down there. That is absolutely terrible. I am not liking that one bit. This is real bad. Oh, you see? That's exactly the reason why I said this is real bad. Yes. Yes, indeed. Wow. And you know what's so funny? I literally didn't even make it to the 18. You see that? I literally didn't even make it to the 18. I had 17, but I, of course I took that terrible overclock. I think that was the main reason why we failed. Just because of that. But we did reach class rank 6. Which I suppose is actually not too bad. Let's get another little bit of damage increase right there. And I'm going to go straight back on in. I'm going to do that until we get to around level 3. Or yeah, around level 3. And then I'll I'll see you again when we're at that time. At that, uh, at that level, shall we say. Alright, there we go. We just completed the second level. And we're now on the third. Now... I do have my sentry at level 16, which is obviously fantastic. And this time around, I was able to get some good overclocks. And we're doing a little better. <laughs> I wouldn't say that we're doing amazingly, but we're definitely doing a lot better than before. Plasma and the moving upgrade. So the sentry guns follow us. Really, really nice. So I'm just going to go for pickup here. I'm maybe thinking about healing myself, actually, but I don't really want to do that, all things considered. I would much prefer to spend it on other things, like, for example, this stuff. There we go. And we're just going to take the risk. I can probably get red sugar over there anyway in just a moment, so that's not going to be too bad. Mushrooms. Ooh, yeah, good luck. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, actually. Uh, getting Nitra from this objective as well is probably going to be extremely unlikely. Oh yeah, by the way, I've got this new weapon. This is a new weapon that I've not seen before. It's the Smart Rifle or something like that. Basically, it uh, locks on to enemies around me, and then it will just fire at them with a high-powered bullet or something like that. I actually don't know. 
Uh, I don't really know how that works, but um, it seems all right. I don't know how much damage it's actually doing, but it seems fine. <laughs> There's, <laughs> I have no feedback on that whatsoever because I can't really tell how much it's really doing. But, you know, I, I suppose we'll see in due time. Maybe it's going to be good. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be amazing. Maybe it's going to be one of the, the, you know, weapons that becomes a favorite or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I probably doubt it. I don't know. I'd probably doubt it. I'm just very much hoping that I'll be able to get to 18 this time before actually dying. Because this is obviously one of the levels that I could potentially die on. And indeed, may very well be the level that I die on. Because that's what I died on beforehand, I think, if I recall. Right? Wasn't it? <laughs> I actually can't even remember. Okay, uh, now I've got to be a little bit careful here. Okay, I want status effect damage, but I can't really go for that. Can I? No, that doesn't really do much for me. Okay. Yeah, usually what I would do is I would kill these for the loot, but unfortunately they're... Oh, nice! That's what we wanted. Okay, thank you. Wow, that actually helped me. Okay, yes, more reload speed. Thank you. All right, I'll definitely go for that. Mushrooms, mushrooms, and... Well, I should probably go through here, shouldn't I? These little turrets following me are just saving me right now. Even though, to be fair, I actually don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Oh, 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 that was close. Okay, that was super, super close. I think I thought I was going to die there for a second. Okay, here we go. Three extra charges of fire rate. I think we know what we're going to take. LMG overload is literally the thing to go for here. It makes all the sense in the world for us to go for that. And my forces, uh, well, should we say my turrets, are going to be insane now. They are going to do so much damage. Obviously, they are a lot less effective than they were the last time that I got this. As you can see, they're only doing around 44 damage every single time they shoot. Instead of, what was it? I think they were doing like 88 or something like that beforehand. So, yeah, they're a lot worse than they were before, which is very sad. But what can I do about it? Yeah, can't really do much, can I? Okay, so we're just going to have to make do with what we have. And hopefully, they're going to do some relatively decent damage here while we try our best to uh, actually survive because I, I want to get some um, I want to get the nitro objective done even if I don't complete the dive I don't really mind that so much as long as we can complete two out of the three objectives I think that's kind of the most important thing wow so much damage being done right there okay I'm kind of wanting to go for reload speed on the Krakatoa here um, yeah I'm gonna do that Wow, so much experience as well. Critical damage we could go for. No, I'm going to go for the reload speed. I mean, we're doing pretty good damage as it is. And uh, we can get the uh, Voltaic little drone uh, an upgrade as well, or an overclock on that. That might be kind of fun. There we go. Let's go for it. Drones will seek out enemies or add more drones. Well, seeking out enemies is actually pretty cool. Let's do that. I don't know whether that's going to be any good. That's the question, because... Adding an extra drone is inevitably going to increase our damage, just fundamentally increase our damage by, uh, you know, a flat percentage, because obviously you have an additional drone, so it's doing even more, you know, it's basically, well, giving you 33% more damage, because you already have two drones, right? So, that's how it works, I guess. Anyway, there you go. We were able to collect 51 nitro, uh, which is actually not too bad. Ooh, 35%. Yes, thank you. I will take that. We will also be taking this, and then we basically have nothing else. So, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that is literally it. We'll just move on. Alright, please give me the flowers. Please give me the flowers. I would like the flowers. Is it going to be more kite? Oh no, it's going to be mushrooms, of course. Oh dear. Okay, well, nitro it is then. I will go for this. And we got some red sugar down there as well, which I wouldn't mind. We're getting really unlucky with the supply drones as well, by the way. I'm never really able to get access to those really easily. So that's kind of annoying, but... Well, again, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you're just like, well, what am I supposed to do? You know, there's just so many enemies, it's very, very difficult to get access to that kind of thing. Anyway, I will just kill these loot bugs. Well, yeah, we're doing some, we're doing some damage. Oh yeah, we are doing some damage now. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of wondering whether I should just continue upgrading my sentry guns. But I feel like the overclocks of the other weapons are probably going to be pretty useful, you know? I think so, at least. Nice. There we go. These these explosive little areas here, they are super, super useful. Actually can be very useful. Surprisingly so, in fact. Gonna go for some more experience gain. I think I have enough reload speed, probably. Do I? Not really, but I could always do with more, I guess. I don't even need healing, so I will just go through here. Nice. Yeah, we we should be fine. We should be fine. I actually I, should should I level this up to twelve? No, 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 no. We wanna we wanna succeed, right? We wanna succeed at this particular level. So I'm gonna just take things that give us more chances to achieve victory rather than you know unlocking additional overclocks. Because let's face it, that's probably not even gonna really work out too well for us. Okay, let's go for fire rate. Let's get these loot bugs. There we go. I've actually started doing that just purely because they actually do drop a surprising amount of stuff. Obviously, I was starting to do that in the, the couple of previous episodes, but generally it is very worthwhile. And you may not think so initially, you know? I didn't think so initially, but they do actually give you quite a lot. Oh, reload speed 35%. I'll definitely take that. Yeah, that's a massive, massive benefit. Look at how much <laughs> Look at how much damage we're doing right now. That's absolutely crazy. Okay, yeah, reload speed for every gun. That is wonderful. We've got a supply drone as well. I'm gonna actually go for increased damage rather than HP here. I feel like I don't really need HP as much as I need damage, even though HP is really important, and I'm probably gonna end up regretting it, possibly. But I'm kind of thinking right now, hey, if we can kill the enemy before it does anything then we don't need HP, right? But that's a little bit of a risky mindset to have, I think. So it may not be uh, may not be something that pays off, but we'll see, I suppose. We'll see. Anyway, reload speed for our Krakatoa. Let's get this while we can. There we go. More reload speed for that. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for this. Uh, add more beams. Yes, adding more beams is actually really, really fun for the Krakatoa because then they have two beams and that basically doubles their damage. And then if you get an, an, another one, then you're going to be tripling their damage from the base version of it, which is really nice, in, in my opinion, at least. And I'm thinking right now, should I actually take... Should I take the Pickled Nitra? Should I literally take the Pickled Nitra? Yes. This is hilarious now, because I am dealing, uh, what is it now? It's like, what, what is it? It's 2% uh, per one, right? So I'm now dealing 100% additional damage. Um, well, over 100% additional damage, which is hilarious. And I'm kind of hoping that I'm not going to be too slow to even catch up to the, uh, the drop pod. I don't think I will be too slow, right? Well, it's kind of annoying to pick up stuff now, actually, all things considered, but we are able to get over here. And I am going to be spending Nitra, I suppose, if I see some good upgrades, you know what I mean? So I am going to lose that damage, unfortunately. So am I? Am I going to lose that damage, though? I mean, I could go for more reload speed, but I don't really need that. That's the whole thing. Do I really need that? Not really. We could go for more fire rate here, which could be kind of useful, but I think I'm actually going to take the critical. And I'm going to re-roll, actually, because I'm thinking that maybe something else that could be kind of good, like, for example, this is actually really good. And I could also take that, but I don't think that that's particularly necessary. I still, I still have 70% increased damage, thanks to our Nitra. So I'm going to just leave it like that, and this is the final level, of course. So we can still get some nitro, but I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need movement speed to run away from the guy, you know. I'm gonna need movement speed for it. Look at how much damage I'm doing, though. Look at how much damage. Look at this. <laughs> okay, there we go. We just killed fifteen thousand aliens while standing still as well. What a way to do it. What a way to do it. Look, look at this damage. Yeah, I mean, we obviously, we saw how incredible this damage was in a previous run, but this is, mm, this is nice. Oh yeah, I like this. Okay, let me just go and get this uh, other Nitro here because 
Yeah, you guessed it. We've done it. We got the 150 that we needed to complete that objective. And we're also possibly going to be completing the entire run. And that's going to be so nice. It is. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's dead. And we can destroy this as well. The Dreadnought's going to come out in just a moment. There it is. Is it going to get evaporated instantly? I hope so. All I have to do is just keep baiting it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I just have to keep, you know, dodging it. And that's it. There you go. Done. Look at that. Look at how easy that was. You see how easy that was in comparison? Yes. In comparison to the other classes. I mean, okay, that's actually not strictly true because here's the thing. I'm obviously using sentry guns, right? And these sentry guns are super, super powerful. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't complete missions easily with the other ones as long as you pick a, a weapon that actually does something super super good for example look at this this is a pop-up tripod right here this is hopefully going to be really nice and there you go we completed absolutely every single objective you see how easy that was that is just what happens when you pick a good weapon and the weapon does what it needs what you need out of it you know it's just so so good all right so pick up or experience gain i'm thinking experience gain right now and then we'll go for critical damage we'll go and get some more um increased max hp that sounds pretty good to me and uh what what have we actually be oh we've been we've been recording for quite some time now i i do want to do more <sighs> Yes, I do want to do more. Uh, look at that. We did it. We did the whole thing. That's really, really nice. What? What? Look at this. Upgrade Voltaic Stun Sweeper to level 21. A Voltaic Stun Sweeper. Isn't that, isn't that a scout weapon or something like that? I actually can't remember. Uh, what is this one? Oh, yeah, upgrade the... F okay. We're going to do this one in the next episode where we play the Driller. And I'm a big fan of the Driller. I like him a great deal. I think he, I, you, you'll see, you'll see exactly the reason why I really like that character. Um, maybe not as much as the Engineer, but I do like him a, a huge amount. Otherwise, if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.